If you just got the new M4 Mac Mini and you're looking for an SSD to go with it, I have three recommendations for you. The first one is the Crucial X9 Pro. This one will work great either with the ports on the front or the back, and you'll get speeds all the way up to about 900 or 950 megabytes a second on it. This will be a great drive if you're doing photo editing or video editing, but for more advanced video editing, you'll probably want to get a drive like the Oyen U34 Bolt. This one gets you speeds all the way up to 3,000 megabytes a second, and it comes in capacities all the way up to 8 terabytes, so you can hold a ton of data on this thing. Really love using this for editing 4K and 6K projects in Final Cut Pro, and also for moving terabytes of data around at a time. This is a fantastic option. It uses either USB 4 or Thunderbolt, and it's also backwards compatible with the USB ports on the front of the computer. We use the ports on the back for the fastest possible speeds. The last drive is the Sateki USB 4 enclosure. With this one, you actually have to put an NVMe inside of it to use it. And this one is gonna get you speeds really close to 3000 megabytes a second as well. And you can have multiple NVMe's and swap them out with this if you'd like. This is a great option. It does run hotter than the U34 Bolt though. So I really recommend the U34 Bolt for most power users of the M4 Mac Mini. But if you got the M4 Pro Mac Mini, then get the new OWC Thunderbolt 5 drive because that will get you speeds all the way up to 6000 megabytes a second, which is insane to be getting out of an external SSD.